everybody, Giant Bass Bees. So today, still finding some honey. Full frames. And though our flow is almost a trickle, still finding some. I need to extract. This hive's almost full. It's gonna get some brood. Now that the honey flow's about done, it's gonna get some brood and make some nooks out of these. And some of these I ain't got back into in a while. And that's drone comb. They about got it full. We might have a little more flow coming in than I thought. I mean, the wax is pretty white. It ain't stained up. So it ain't like it's been in here long. It's a little stained on the bottom. Not bad though. And I didn't do a harvest video because I pulled a whole bunch of honey and then uh, the hives I was gonna do it, they'd, uh, heck, they moved the honey and stimulate them and draw brood. I don't know. I might still show y'all how I harvest. What about okay, so they're uncapping that one. I can tell. Um, you can tell they're about ready to swarm too. Need to get them some room. So you see the little cells that got the hole in it. You could tell that was capped, and now they're uncapping it because we are getting in the dirt. There's not much flow coming in. So, if I don't get it, they're going to eat it. I was thinking maybe they was getting enough to finish some of it, but... And some of them are because I just had a hive that I extracted and put back in, and it was uh, one of the boxes was about half full of nectar already. So some bees are working or finding a source and others ain't. Either that or those bees are robbing somebody and getting a nectar source. One of the two. But uh, we're not in a complete full out dirt, but we just got a trickle coming in. But So, I guess there's some more honey I can use for splits or extract. And I got a few more hives that are like this, so... I just pulled a bunch of honey out of the freezer for splits, so I might extract some of these. I don't know. I probably need to because uh, we have a really strong fall flow here normally. And the honey I pulled out of the freezer can go into splits, help them out. Once they get built up enough, they can protect it. So that's another thing I'm doing. I'm coming back through and, and pumping these things up and getting them strong. Because, uh... I don't like to just make them jamming right off the bat. I don't like using all them resources. So I get them going, and as they expand, I help them expand. I mean, teach their own. That's just how I do it. One, uh, I mean, it's by my. I'm by myself. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm back up the sideliner. I had heavy losses last year from a flood. Really hurt. And I've been working my butt off this season. Not just doing honey, but mainly growing bees. So I'm back up to sideliner. Last time I was sideliner, I had a, par a partner. And uh, it's just me now. So, so we're just going to keep on jamming. And I mean, I could break these hives down and have a hundred hives sitting here. But I don't have the, uh, I don't have the equipment ready. And I don't have... I don't like to do it this late. For one thing, I don't have the equipment ready. And I'm still just one guy. So so we'll see. Maybe I'll expand and run about 80 next season. Maybe 100. I don't know. We'll see. There's always a lot of hives that you don't plan on making. You know, you get in the hive and see that there's a problem. They're about ready to swarm. They got cells. So you do a split. Skim some off, couple frames, or you just cut them down some, 
keep them working and not getting in swarm mode. So, but we just got a little rain, so maybe we'll get a little more, little more nectar coming in. So, but I'm fixing to start feeding for long. Just uh, keeping an eye on the bees, let them do their thing. Never want to let them get hand to mouth. You know what I mean? So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. It's been hot here. Got some beard now. And, uh, you know, some bearding is normal. And I've seen some videos on bearding, including the one I made. It wasn't really bad or nothing. But I was just telling y'all, basically, this is what's happening. And you better get ready. Because another brood hatch are liable to really be bearded out. Well, some bearding's okay. But when they're just uh, got the whole front of the hive covered or an actual beard, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's not good. They're getting out of the hive to keep the brood from cooking. So anything over 96 degrees can damage your queen permanently. So... You know, no one's mentioned that on videos, including me. I didn't think of it. But uh, I watched a guy I like, and he was like, you know, it's completely normal. It's fine. But, uh, you know, they're not doing that just to spend the night outside. I mean, they do do that, kind of like sleeping on the front porch. Some of them. But when they're bearded now, there's, uh, I mean, it could be dangerous. They're doing it so they don't cook the brood, the babies. And they're also doing it, you know, the queen will shut down and quit laying and because they can't cover the brood. And you don't want them bearded out anyway because if they're sitting outside the hive all day, they're absolutely doing nothing in the hive. You know what I'm saying? They are accomplishing zero. So you want them working. You don't want them shutting down. Um, you want them to keep laying and brooding. I mean, we're coming down to the equinox and tapering off you know so you want them as strong as possible and you don't want your queen damaged sure don't want her getting superseded late fall when there's no drones so uh something to think about anyway that's what i'm doing y'all have a good day job bass bees